This isn't for your eyes. Or maybe it is. Hey everyone, it's Razor. Back again, trying to do another video opening of a box. A horror box. It's uh, another Blu-ray set. This time, it's for me, the coveted Scarlet Box. Wearing my pinhead shirt. I'm going to go through my collection of uh, various Hellraiser movies. Uh and explain my disappointment. I have not yet opened this. Got it on Amazon this week. 75 bucks. It's the lowest I've seen it. This is the United States version. Uh, what is it? Region 1? Region A? I don't I can't keep up with it. I really need to go region free. A buddy of mine, I'm going to shout him out. The leader of the Scream Factory Collectors Unite Facebook group, Rob Martinez, tells me I need to go region free. You're right, Rob. There's too many great releases from England, from Arrow, that I need to buy. I, matter of fact, I have a couple things. Uh, my Night of the Living Dead, the remake, which I love, uh, I can't watch. <laughs> because uh, it doesn't play on an American uh, Blu-ray player, so I'm screwed. Anyway, uh, I finally got the Scarlet Box. The biggest disappointment with the Scarlet Box uh, is it only has the first three movies and it's as expensive as it is but I love Hellraiser I love the first three for sure three is the first one I saw I'm probably my favorite if you missed it we did do a horror syndicate live uh, episode uh, three or four weeks ago all on Pinhead and his Cinnabites and the Hellraiser series uh, so you can find that on Facebook uh, it was a Facebook Live video, and uh, don't forget to follow the Horror Syndicate at Horror Syndicate on Twitter. You can find us on Facebook, and uh, follow me at Razor underscore 33. So, before I d jump into the beautifully packaged Scarlet Box Blu-ray set, which I, again, wish I would have gotten before, uh... But it was it's, it's kind of expensive, you know. We don't the horror syndicate is a small a small group of people who love horror trying to get you know we have to buy things on our own. We don't get things sent to us like some of the big boys. So remember that we're a small 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 thing of uh, horror fans, um, a collective, if you will, a syndicate, if you will. Uh, but I'm gonna go through my uh, my releases of the Hellraiser series before I open this. I'll try to make it fast. It's hard to do. Uh, years ago, I bought, I got these at Best Buy, and eventually I found uh, three was hard to track down. I got this. If you look really closely, it says these are a documentary, but this is Hell on Earth, Bloodline, and Inferno, and of course you get the six. This is a crappy collection. Uh, they're all on two discs, and. Uh, it's the last six movies, Hell on Earth to uh, Hell World. You know, it's got Debtor and Hellseeker. Uh, through the years, I've been able to pick up uh, this great edition of Hellraiser on DVD. Uh, I tried to, you know, I'm glad they kind of matched the white theme, Hellbound, Hellraiser 2. And uh, this one I got at a place called Grumpy Bob's near where I live, like a thrift store. Hell on Earth, I finally got my own copy that didn't look terrible. And uh, I've been building since, you know, Bloodline, who I like, where a lot of people don't. Uh, Inferno, another one I like, a lot of people don't. Hellseeker, I love because Kirsty's in it, and Ashley Lawrence is, uh, let's just say I'm super attracted to her. Especially, you know, the older version, she looks really good. Uh, Deader? and Hellworld. They're not great. Uh, eventually, I did, this year, find... Uh, I was like, oh, I'll just get the cheap DVD Blu-rays, and uh, so I got that, and got this, which actually, they look really good. So, uh, it's Bloodline, Inferno, Hellseeker, and Hellworld. It's missing uh, Debtor. Who cares? Uh, and Revelations, which uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that one. I'm, I'll probably just buy the DVD since I have a single edition of each DVD. So we're five minutes in to the video. And I need to open this box. The box. You opened it. I'm gonna. 
All right, let's do this. Let's get into the box. Um, again, I just like the Phantasm video, I forgot to bring something up here in my uh, my collection. Uh, I'll do another collection video for the Horror Syndicate. Uh, you know, I'm, I'd like to challenge my team to uh, do some videos like this. It's not hard. I'm using my cell phone. Um, and then I'm going to throw it on YouTube and then make a little post about it like I like to do. Uh, okay, the Scarlet Box. The wrapping's off and... Man, I just, I really love this, the look of this box. Okay, I'm going to be gentle. There we go, gentle. Oh, man, okay. I see. <laughs> that is cool. That is, oh, man. I'm loving it. There is Hellraiser. Man, Arrow, you guys really outdo yourselves, you know? You really, really outdo yourselves with these releases. Uh, this is... Cheddar, how cool is that? Oh, man. Yeah. Is it Butterball or... Because neither Butterball or the female Cenobite... Okay. Are in the third movie, so... And look at... Fantastic art. I cannot wait to pop this in the Blu-ray player. I cannot wait. Artwork is phenomenal. All right, what's the next? The Clive Barker Legacy. I'm a big Barker fan uh, as far as reading and his movies. I, you know, it was weird. I watched um, Lord of Illusions the other day and didn't realize that was the last film he directed. And uh, had a moment of sadness. Some, wow, yeah. Some postcards, it looks like. Is that what these are? Yeah, I'm going to send some letters. Ooh, the doctor's in. There she is. <laughs> it's Uncle Frank. You remember. Come to Daddy. Butterball. Oh, cool. That is cool. There's a, a poster. I believe that's the original poster for uh, Hellraiser. Some cool interior art in this little book. And there's a poster of what is the cover art of this. I'm not going to open it like the last time. Because I generally don't use the posters that I get in these sets because I, I, I like keeping them in good shape. Uh, all right. <laughs> Uh, poor Larry. It's a book with, uh, oh man, behind the scenes book. One of my favorite scenes in the entire series right here. I am the way. I like to think that I sound like Pinhead. I probably don't. Doug Bradley can never be matched. The resurrection scene from the very first movie is one of the best scenes of all time. The one thing I, uh, I'm wondering about is on this, uh, there's not really, hold on, it's on the back of here. The uh, Clive Barker legacy is the thing I wanted to see because there's a documentary called The Books of Blood and Beyond, The Literary Works of Clive Barker. That should be a good thing to watch. Hellraiser Evolutions, a brand new documentary looking at the evolution of the horror franchise and its endure. Enduring Legacy, Hellraiser Chronicles, The Question of Faith. It's a 200-page book, Damnation Games. Holy cow. Uh, I mean, just check that out. Who, who is that, everybody? Tell me who that is. I know who it is, but do you know who it is? So this is a great set. The one thing I thought would be on here that I don't see, I'm looking... Ah, oh, no, it's on the... Hellraiser DVD, Lullabyathen, the Hellraiser story. Yeah, the story of Hellraiser. It's a documentary I've been wanting to watch for a very long time. Well, since this came out, because it came with this set, uh, the, the original European version. So, that's the set. It's a pretty, pretty awesome set. These uh, cases for these movies are just, come on. 
can you get any better than that? It's paper. It's simple. But how, I mean, come on. I love it. I'm very happy with this. 75 bucks is a little steep. Uh, it's 90, I've seen it 96 bucks other places. So uh, pick it up where you can. Amazon right now has it for uh, 75 bucks. So, uh, am I missing? <laughs> yes. How about that? For a Hellraiser fan, does it get any better? Does it? I don't think so. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. Um, don't forget, become a fan of the Horror Syndicate. We're a small operation. We love each and every person. You can watch our episodes of the Horror Syndicate Live. Some of them are, most of them are on YouTube. All of them are on YouTube. Some of them are edited. Some of them are not. Um, you know, we all got day jobs. So uh, follow us on Facebook. Subscribe here on YouTube. Uh, we got a Twitter page, at Horror Syndicate, at Rage... I always want to say Rage of Razor. That's my personal Facebook page. But at Razor underscore 33 is where you can follow me if you want. Uh, if you like this, let us know in the comments uh, below. Or let us know on Facebook that you like these unboxing videos. I mean, there's not much to them. Maybe I go too fast. Maybe not. I mean, we're, we're at the 11 and a half minute mark as I'm closing everything up. Uh, but... I enjoy it. I mean, we can show you other things. If you're wondering about the Halloween collection or another collection that we might have or a Scream Factory edition you're looking to buy, we can do short videos for, for other editions too. Even if things have been out for a while, why not? We do retro reviews on the website all the time. So um, check us out. The Horror Syndicate, uh, it's a thing, okay? Don't forget to follow us.